All right, so for today's uh, workout for your skill, you guys are working on L sits, focus on getting the core and stabilizing. And for your workout, we have sit ups, uh, handstand push ups, and some soccer taps. All right. Um, so, getting everything nice and warm, we're going to start with the shoulders. We're going to give some 10 uh, circles going forward, nice and small, getting bigger and bigger on each one. After you guys complete those 10, going in reverse, same thing, nice and small for 10, and start getting bigger and bigger and bigger. After you guys complete those 10, fingertips gonna be on your shoulders. You guys wanna rotate them up, around, and back towards the middle for 10 reps. After those 10, going in reverse, same exact thing for 10 reps. And from there, you have to reach down for those toes and reaching up for the sky for 10 total reps. Next, you guys are going to go ahead and just give me five inchworms. So, you guys are going to walk those hands out, inside push up, and walk those feet in towards your hands. And you guys are going to go through that five times to get the shoulders nice and warmed up. From there, you guys are going to go into a pike position. And from here, you're going to drop down, put the head on the floor, and lock out for 10 reps. Loosen up the shoulders, imitating your handstand push ups for the day. And then from there, you guys are going to lay on your back. And you guys gonna do a 30 second hollow hold. So from there, you guys gonna have your legs up, arms up, core's engaged, squeezing in for 30 seconds. All right, so for your skill, you guys gonna go through it three times. Uh, rest as needed in between each set. If you guys are going to RX, you guys are going to hold this L sit for 60 seconds, level 3 be 45 seconds, level 2 be 30 seconds, and level 1 be 20 seconds. Um, it's okay if you have to accumulate the 60 seconds, which is perfectly fine. For example, 20 seconds at a time to get to your 60 seconds. So, uh, a couple of options you have, you guys can do this on a chair, on a box, uh, whatever you have, that way you can get your legs up off the floor. So, first part, you guys can start with your knees tucked in. Holding it in this position, you guys are going to go with one foot out, or you guys can go with both foot out for your L sits. Just really focus on pressing yourself down, not being tucked in your neck. Open it up, pressing yourself down, and fully trying to extend those legs that you're going to RX, alright? Alright, so going into your workout for the day, um, it's going to be for time 21.59. So you guys are going to start with 21 sit ups. Then 21 handstand push ups, and then you guys going into 200 uh, soccer taps. 15, 15, 200 soccer taps, 9, 9, 200 soccer taps, right? So, starting with the sit ups. Try and get your shoulders to go past your hips, so coming all the way down and extending all the way through at the top of your sit up. After you guys can feature 21 reps, you guys can go into your handstand push ups. If you have a wall, you guys, like I say, you guys can go straight from this. Or if you guys are kipping, bringing those knees into your chest, extending and pushing out at the same time. Uh, if you guys have a box or a couch, for example, you guys can go up knees or the tippy toes, trying to pick yourself up, imitation of upside down motion, down to that push up and locking out at the top. Once you guys are done with your 21 reps, you guys are going into your soccer taps, right? So, for your soccer taps, just going up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven all the way up to 200. Then you'll go 15, 15, 200, 9, 9, 200, and then you'll be done with the workout. Um, any questions on that, let us know, and good luck.